Here at home, wind is whipping out there today, but tomorrow it's going to look very different. Meteorologist Robert Sir joining us once again tonight with his night and day forecast. I don't mean nighttime and daytime. We're talking opposites here. What's going oh, on? Oh, yes. Uh, 180 tomorrow with the weather. You're going to be wishing it was still Saturday around this time tomorrow, folks. Unfortunately, a lot to get to, but right now it's very nice outside. As you can see, uh, you know, a nice mix of clouds and sunshine across northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Temperatures mostly mid to upper 70s, a few 80 degree uh, numbers out there as well. Here's northwest Arkansas. Temperatures for your neighborhood, upper 70s. Uh, Fayetteville's at 80. That's the only 80 degree reading in NWA. More widespread 80s, though, in the River Valley. A couple of 80, well, 83, though, in Boonville. That is a... Uh, that's a toasty day, no doubt, but it is breezy. Uh, wind sustained 15 to 25 miles an hour, and there are higher gusts out there. Look at Drake Field, 33 miles an hour, 36 in Grove uh, in northeast Oklahoma. So those, those winds will get your attention. And the weather tomorrow will get your attention. It is a severe day tomorrow for a litany of reasons. We're going to see morning showers become more widespread, heavier, and steadier by late afternoon. We're looking at two to four inches of rain expected with isolated amounts that could be greater than six inches. Uh, so keep that in mind, which is why low lying and river flooding is certainly looking likely. As we take you hour by hour now tonight, late tonight, there could be a stray thunderstorm that clips Benton County into McDonald County, but it's after midnight. You see by 3 a.m. a couple of showers, maybe a thunderstorm or two still on the scattered side that at that hour and waking up Sunday morning. But as we get into the afternoon hours, that rain starts to really congeal and become heavier and steadier. And as this front stalls, we're going to see training of the rain where it's just moving over the same area over and over and over and it is going to be heavy at times and it won't take and it's going to take until early Monday morning for that rain to finally press off to the east so that by the time you wake up Monday morning we should be starting to dry out but not before one to perhaps three inches of rain falls and you can see Washington County here right in the middle of it Washington Madison and into Carroll County but even Benton County two and a half inches or so and all of this rain it could be excessive at times slight risk for excessive rainfall across the entire area we are under a flood watch 7 a.m. tomorrow through 7 a.m. Monday also watching for significant river flooding that is possible and likely here. This would be the Illinois River as you work your way into uh, western Washington and Benton County. If you live along that river, please watch it carefully over the next couple of days. Lows tonight will be in the 60s. We won't go very far tomorrow as that rain cooled air makes its way through the area. As I said, severe day tomorrow, lingering showers early Monday morning, then we start to dry out. Sunshine returns basically for the rest of the week. Temperatures slide closer to where they should be for this time of the year, as opposed to the very above average temperatures we're dealing with right now. Uh, heavy rain as well for the River Valley by tomorrow night. That could linger into Monday morning. Lots of sunshine though, as we go toward the rest of the week with temperatures around climatological averages. Stay with us. Uh, Paul is going to check the sports world after these messages.